Hi guys. Well, it's actually a pleasant afternoon. Not 100 degrees. I think just about a, a pleasant 85 or 86 degrees in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Let's see, um, here a couple weeks before I turned 59. I honestly don't know if I have ever been in Boston, Massachusetts in my entire life, but here we are on Thursday, August 30th, 2018, and I'm thinking this is the first time I have ever been in uh, a big city of Boston, Massachusetts. I had to come get a taste of the Boston traffic, which is legendary, but of course I'm coming from Austin, Texas, and before that, Atlanta, Georgia. So uh, no one needs to tell me about city traffic. <clears throat> so this is the biggest city I have been in since I left Austin, Texas uh, on June 6th. I guess I was in Columbus, around the edges of Cincinnati and Columbus, Ohio. And I'm right in downtown Boston. Massachusetts on this fine summer afternoon and I think we're getting ready to go into a tunnel. Alright. I love any sign in Boston saying reduce speed to 45 miles an hour. We're going through the O'Neill Tunnel. Better take off my sunglasses. So I'm here in the middle of the day, it's uh, about one o'clock. I, I, I wanted to get here the day before Labor Day weekend, so, I, so this is Thursday about one in the afternoon. I, I needed, since I was coming from the south heading north, I, it had to be later than rush hour traffic going into town and earlier than rush hour traffic going out of town. So this is just normal, everyday, uh, one in the afternoon traffic in uh, Boston. It looks a lot like the normal one in the afternoon traffic in Austin. I've traded Austin for Boston in my gas sucking truck. Uh, and I can only imagine. But, well, of course, I'm in downtown. I don't know where the hell, what I'm going, what am I going under in this tunnel? Uh, anyway, my guess is once I start heading out of town, I'm on I-93. I'm just getting ready to get on I-95 North, heading out of downtown, and something tells me I'm getting ready to slam into a, a traffic jam from hell uh, if I ever get out of this tunnel. Uh, this might be the longest tunnel I've ever been in. Our, are we going under Boston Harbor? Is Boston Harbor above me right now? Good God, this thing goes on and on. I was supposed to be bringing you a video of downtown Boston, and all I've found in downtown Boston is the middle of a goddamn this is tunnel. So I'm assuming I'm driving underneath the Boston Tea Party, but I really don't know what the hell I'm driving under. Driving and driving and driving. Are we ever coming out of this tunnel? Good God! I had uh, no no knowledge whatsoever of this tunnel in downtown Boston. I <clears throat> I'm so glad I decided to come through downtown Boston on this trip to get a taste of downtown Boston. And all I'm fucking seeing is a tunnel. Do I see light at the end of the tunnel? All right. We do have light at the end of the tunnel. Better put back on my future is so bright I gotta wear shades. Sunglasses here. So now what the hell have I come out to? All right, we're on some fancy bridge. Tunnel onto some fancy bridge. Ah, that was downtown Boston. I got to experience downtown Boston for about 45 seconds 
before driving into a dark tunnel. And I'm not going to turn around because I'm actually heading to Portland, Maine right now to hook up with some more tribes members and figure out what the hell to do with my Labor Day weekend, whether to spend it in Maine or New Hampshire. Let's see where how this cookie crumbles. That was a fine trip to Boston, Massachusetts. That was Hambone's trip to Boston. You just had it. Back on the road, here comes I-95 coming up in my life. Bye guys.